Help me. I'm lost. With your hosts, Gus and Lynette. In this video, we take a look at the Seeing Eye GPS app. We're going to use it to take us from the front of our building here at Baru College to a store nearby. I tried to use the pedestrian mode, which would give me step-by-step -step instructions as I was moving in real time. And for some reason, that particular mode was not functioning. So we ended up using a mode called getting warmer, which basically does what it says. It tells you when you're getting warmer and it gives you the relative distance from your destination, but it doesn't give you the ne necessarily the turn by turn instructions. I'm going to put my destination address in and we'll get ourselves going. Okay, let's see what information it gives me on the screen. South. Distance to destination, 642 feet. Okay, so we're 642 feet away from my destination. Ahead, south. Goes, okay. Map. Cancel. Okay, I think we're ready. Here we are walking east on 25th Street towards 3rd Avenue. And now we've made a right on 3rd Avenue and crossed 25th Street heading downtown. We're passing an open storm cellar. How cool would it be if my GPS app told me that it was open? So the getting warmer feature gives me information in terms of how far I am from a place and some geographical information in terms of my relative location to my destination, but it doesn't give me turn-by-turn -turn instructions. The other feature which I wanted to use, called, which is called pedestrian route, would have done that, but it wasn't working. Sometimes these apps don't work well because we're in what they call the urban canyon right. with so many tall buildings around and things like that. So they don't get an exact fix and sometimes it's hard for them to, they go in and out of good signals. So that could be why that particular pedestrian route, you know, route Wasn't did not, working, right, right, didn't work. Here we're crossing 3rd Avenue at 23rd Street going from the west to the east side of the street. The noise outside is too high and it was hard to hear what the phone was saying. Let's pull over as soon as there's an empty spot. Okay. And here we duck into a phone booth so that we can reconnoiter. It says we're 97 feet away. Oh, so we're close. Okay, it keeps telling me southwest to destination and it tells me 2 o'clock, which is not... Well, actually, from where I'm standing, that's actually not off, right? Okay. Because 2 o'clock would be to my right. 2 o'clock would be to your right, yes. Yeah, and slightly up. So I guess that's correct, right? But southwest yeah. is not correct because no. we're headed south. Well, we're headed south, but... Yeah, it could be west-ish. Ish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, there you go. Well, <laughs> that's right. Oh, my God. No, no, no. It told me that I arrived. Yeah. Oh wait, no it says I'm 19 feet away. Okay, okay let's keep okay. walking. That says 23 feet. 23 feet? It said you've arrived at your destination, then it said 19 feet, and then it said 25 feet. So I guess I was moving away from it, and I didn't realize it. But I think it said you've arrived at your destination before I was actually at my destination. So I don't think that this is going to give us the door. Like, it's not going to give us the address of the actual building because of all the interference and all the electrical and digital signal stuff that's going on in the city at any given time. We're lucky we got this close because yeah. they, they used to say, we'll get you within 30 feet. Right. <laughs> that used to be the, you know, the, the uh, catchphrase. The catchphrase, yeah. 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 All in all, this was a pretty good first experience with the app, but we will definitely be looking at more features in upcoming videos. This has been a presentation of the Computer Center for Visually Impaired People at Barrage College.